Hey everybody, Max from Cattywampus String Band here. Today I'd like to do a lesson video on Over the Waterfall. This is one of those fun fiddle tunes that every guitar player should have in their repertoire. We're flat picking this, we're alternating our, alternating our picking going down, up, down, up. Uh, on our down beats, often I'm playing down, and then anytime we're doing an upbeat when I'm tapping my foot and my foot's coming off the ground, I'm alternating with the up. Uh, pinky anchors work really well here, palm sometimes on the lower strings if we're not using it, or palm on the bridge pin, some combination of those, or not touching anything depending on what you're comfortable with. Starting with the A section, open G, A second fret, B, third fret of B is D, first fret C, open B, A, G, E, 2nd fret of B, open, repeating that, and then do a nice down up down on a G chord, repeating that again, now we're going to go open G, open, 2nd fret of D is E, open D. Now we're going to go D, E, F. D, E, F. When we do our 3rd fret, we'll go into a quick F chord. Now 2nd fret E, open D. Then C, 3rd fret of the A string, C chord. Repeat that whole thing. So here's the A section in its entirety. section now. Middle finger, second fret of A is our B note. B, C, open D, strum a G chord. Now, second fret of D is E, open, second, open, third fret of A is C, second finger B, chord, B, C, D, sharp, this is the 2nd fret of the E string, and then G 3rd fret, G chord. Second time we do it, it's very similar with a little different ending. Now we're going to go B, C, D, G. This is a higher F sharp, 4th fret of the D string. G, 2nd fret of G is A, open G. Down, up, down. You might hear those endings flipped. I like to do them the other way where we go the low one and then the high one. So now the whole B section sounds like this. comfortable you get with the basic melody, the easier it is to start adding some extra strums in there. And sometimes when I'm adding the chords, I might not even be playing the whole strum. I might just be picking a couple of the notes to fill in the space in between those notes. So my rule of thumb is anytime we have a long open space between the melody notes, I'm filling it in with something, whether it's just a little bit 
of a, of a picking pattern with our with our open strings in the chord or I'm filling in a little extra riff or something like that so mess around with the, the melody get the melody down first practice your alternating picking that's probably the most important thing to getting faster other than getting comfortable with your left hand is getting a good alternating wrist and, and an easy flowing uh, picking pattern here and see what you can do with it. See you guys next time.